kind of never meant to take a three month break from posting. My life's just switched up a little bit recently. Got a little bit busier. I'm gonna be a dad, which still feels wild to say. Just saying that out loud, I can't imagine it coming up naturally and not feeling weird to say. It's still so new to me. So I just wanna sit down for this video and just have kind of like a catch up. It's been a while since I last posted. We're in a completely new year. I mean, I did post a video, what was it, like a week ago, of Zoe and I sitting down and letting you know, uh, I don't know if you saw it or not, but letting you know that we're expecting, you might not have seen it, we're expecting a daughter. Zoe is pregnant, we're having a little baby girl, and she's arriving in September. So my life's kind of switched up a lot recently, so I thought it's a fitting time to just like sit down, just me and you, and have a little, a little catch up. I guess there's a big chunk of you that have been watching me since I was literally a teenager and you subscribe to the channels and you follow me on Instagram or Twitter or wherever it is to come on the journey of watching the life of a teenage boy, 15, 16 when I started, turning into an adult man. And I suppose that like has been the, the underlying thing throughout all my videos and my social media is like watching me go through life and mature and seeing me doing things for the first time like buying my first flat or being in my first proper relationship um you've seen it all amazing things not so amazing things you've been along for the ride and now we're moving into the next phase which is becoming a parent as i'm full flow my camera just ran out of charge um what was i saying so i guess what i'm saying is I hope you're ready for the next chapter. I hope you're ready for the next phase. And I, I'm trying to like say this without it sounding cringe, without it just sounding cheesy. Like, are you ready for the next step of the journey? This is a big moment of, you're about to watch me as an individual learn to be a dad and educate myself on being a dad. And I know that a lot of you that watch these videos are at a similar point in your life. So, we're kind of learning together. We're doing this together. So I'm inviting you now. Maybe you've watched me since I was 15 years old. Maybe since I was 16. Maybe you've just subscribed. But I'm inviting you theoretically into the journey of me, a 27 year old man, learning to become a dad. It's going to be fucking fun. It's going to be so cool. I'm so bloody excited. I thought the best way to like fully catch up would be to answer questions that you guys are keen to know answers to. I've been getting so many bloody questions recently about life in general, probably because I haven't posted on YouTube in three months and also because we're having a baby. So there's a lot of questions floating about. So I put one of those little boxes on Instagram where it's like, ask me anything here. And I basically said, I'm going to do like a big life update Q and A and I'm going to answer the most popular questions. So I've written them down on my phone. First question. I bloody love this. It's such a simple question, but it is so important. How are you? Just how are you? I'm feeling really good, you know, like really, really good at the moment. There are so many things that are going on in my life at the moment that I'm so excited about. And especially with everything going on in the world at the moment, I'm just feeling so much gratitude and so thankful that I'm in a place where I am feeling so good and I'm super excited about the future. Like, so bloody excited about the future. How much of the pregnancy and baby are you and Zoe gonna be sharing? This question, I can't even tell you how much I was asked. I guess it's one of those things where it's like, I'm not gonna fully know until she's here of what I'm comfortable sharing and what I'm not. This is a completely new world for me. This is a completely new aspect of life that I've never done before. So I don't really have any like exact concrete examples of like of things that I'm gonna feel comfortable sharing and things that I'm not gonna feel comfortable sharing. I guess we're just gonna like learn those things as they pop up. We're definitely gonna be uploading like pictures of the baby for sure. And we're definitely gonna be featuring her in vlogs while she's a baby. We're not really too sure about when she's older yet, but we'll get to that as it comes. That's so, that's so far away. But yeah, I don't really know the exact answer to that one other than we're just gonna, we'll see what happens. But don't worry, you will, you will be seeing her. You will be seeing her. Have you decided on a name for your daughter? We actually haven't. I thought that this would be uncommon, the fact that we haven't decided a name yet. 
but the amount of people that I'm speaking to that are far further down the line being pregnant than us that still haven't decided their child's name is so common. I thought it would be uncommon that we haven't decided her name yet. In fact, one of my friends literally, when did she give birth? This morning, or was it last night? No, this morning, she gave birth and the baby still hasn't got a name. We've got like a list of names that we really like, but every time we're like going through them or we're reading them out or the other day I was outside this little cafe waiting for my takeaway coffee and I heard one girl call her friend and I was like, yo, she has such a cool name. And I wrote it down on my phone and then when I got home, I was like, Zoe, listen to this name. What do you think? And I said it and Zoe was like, it's cool. I do like it, but it's not our daughter. And I'm like, yeah, you're right. It's not our daughter. We've got so many names that we love but then when I think about it being like, is that my daughter's name? It's not, and it's a lovely name, but it's not my daughter. It's definitely way harder than what I thought to, to decide. But no, we don't have a name yet. Are you scared of becoming a dad? Oh, I feel like that's quite a deep one. And I don't know if it's weird to say no, because I don't feel scared. Like I said at the beginning of the video, I guess there's two things. I feel more ready than what I feel like I could ever feel. Like I feel so ready to become a dad. But at the same time, I'm very aware that I don't know the reality of what that is. This is new for me, I've never done this before. So I feel as ready as what I can feel without knowing exactly what I'm getting myself into. If that makes sense. I'm feeling just pure, excitement which might change i'm very aware that might change i might be shitting myself when it gets to zoe being eight months pregnant and i might be vlogging and i'm like guys i'm bloody terrified what do i do when this happens what do i do when like it might change but right now i'm just like maybe i'm in like a honeymoon like new news kind of golden phase i don't know but at the moment it's just bloody exciting. Who do you think the baby will look more like and whose eye color will she have? This is one that I answered on my Instagram stories the other day because statistically there is a 50% chance, yo it's getting cold out here now, the sun's gone down. There is a 50% chance that she's gonna have blue eyes like Zoe and a 50% chance that she's gonna have brown eyes like me. It's literally just the odds. There is exactly the same chance. Um, I feel like she's gonna have for some reason, something is telling me she's gonna have brown eyes. And then something else is telling me that we're gonna have a little boy in the future who's gonna have blue eyes. I don't know why, might be completely wrong. That's just what I'm, what I'm feeling, what I'm putting out there. And then maybe in the future, we'll be able to clip this part of the vlog and then it will cut to Zoe and I with two or three little children and a boy with blue eyes and a girl with brown eyes. That would be fucking wild. Comment down below whether you think she's gonna have blue eyes or brown eyes, leave a comment. Why did you decide, oh, this was a big one. This was so common. Why did you decide to try for a baby before getting married? Zoe and I have always spoken, and we've even spoken about it in videos before, about the fact that at our wedding, we would love our children to be present. We would love to be able to look back at the wedding pictures and have our children there. So that's something that we've, just both as a couple always just pictured that happening. Not gonna lie, I'm gonna throw, throw myself under the bus here. I did think that the, the order of things would be engagement, kids, wedding with the kids at the wedding. So that kind of hasn't gone to plan, that bit. Do you think the person you were five years ago would be happy with where you are now? Holy shit five years ago. Okay, so I would have been 22. Would we have been living in the old house five years ago? Maybe I was living in my flat by myself. I don't think Zoe and I were living together five years ago. We've been here for like three years, I want to say, maybe a little bit more. Maybe we were in the old house. I think we were in the old house, maybe. People watching this video probably know more than me. I don't know where I was living five years ago. Would 22-year-old Alfie be happy with where he is at 27? I don't think 22-year-old Alfie could be any more proud of where I am now at 27. Like, long, long-term relationship that I'm incredibly happy with and I feel like lockdown has only strengthened our relationship. 
a child on the way. So incredibly lucky to have our dream family home. I've invested in a lot of different things outside YouTube that are going incredibly well and have made me very financially secure. I've got great friends and family around me. I don't think there's anything that 22 year old Alfie would have wanted differently. I guess the only thing, if I really think about it, that at 22, I would have hoped that I would have done that I haven't done, is travel. And I don't know if I've spoken about this in a video, but Zoe and I were actually planning on traveling a lot last year. And jokes on us, because COVID came around and canceled all our plans. And that was our kind of like year of traveling. We were gonna be doing New Zealand, potentially Canada. We were doing Amsterdam, Maldives for Zoe's 30th birthday. It was like a year full of traveling before we settle down and we start a family. One of those two things went incredibly well. The other thing got cancelled due to COVID, which I'm not complaining about and I can't complain at all because I'm so fortunate of everything else. But when I'm reflecting back, I think that's the only thing and I'm so lucky to be able to say that is the only thing that I would have hoped I'd done, which I can still do in the future. I can definitely still do in the future that I haven't done is more traveling. I think 22 year old Alfie would be so proud and happy of where I am and what I'm doing in life right now. That's crazy to be able to like say that to so many people that can picture 22 year old Alfie and think about where I was back then. Like I feel like this is the kind of thing that you'd write down in a journal or in a diary for yourself. But my journal or diary is this video. Typical, my memory card just went full. I think it's time to end the video because the sun the sun set about 20 minutes ago now. My memory card's getting full. And I've only got one more question. And it's not actually a question that got asked to me. It's a question that I want to ask you. And that is purely like the first question that I got asked. How are you? Like, I genuinely want you to take a minute now to proper write something down. Try your best not to write. I'm good, thanks, or I'm good. Write a little paragraph, maybe a big paragraph. Update me on your life, how you are, what you're up to, what your plans are for the rest of the year. I'm genuinely interested to know. It's been three months since I properly updated you on this YouTube channel, since we sat down and had a chat. And I used to be able to do this every single day in the vlogs. And I bloody miss it. So I'd appreciate it if you wrote down in the comments just how you are. And I'm gonna take a load of time over the next week or so and, and read as many comments as I possibly can. I'm literally rubbing my hands together because it is so bloody cold out here now, the sun's gone down. So uh, I'm gonna end the vlog. I hope you've enjoyed it. It was very nice, I have to say, to just sit down and have a, a little catch up with the camera. It feels like we've gone full circle, you know. Like I started this channel off by just balancing my little camera on a stack of books in my bedroom and updating anybody that wanted to watch on my life and what I was up to. And it's crazy that, what, 11 years later, I've still got a tiny little camera here, it's nothing fancy. I feel like so much of my life has changed over the last 11 years. But kind of at the same time, nothing's changed. And I don't know if that makes sense or not, but it does to me. I appreciate you watching. If you haven't already, give the video a thumbs up. Literally takes one second, go down below, just press the thumbs up button. Subscribe if you haven't already and you wanna come along on the journey. I mean, if you've watched this entire video and you haven't already subscribed, you might as well. Go down below, hit the subscribe button and I will see you, I'll see you soon. Gonna be a dad. Gonna be a bloody dad. That is wild.